everyone, my name is Susan and this is Chick Flicks and today I'm going to be watching another episode of Breaking Bad, episode 6, season 1. And this one is called A Handful of Nothing. So I don't know what to expect. I know that Walter went to Jesse and said, hey, you want to cook again? And Jesse's like, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't really hear his response, but I'm assuming he was like, hell yes. So let's just get right into this episode. Yep, we're back here now, Walter. Back in their good old RV. A lot of stuff went down in this RV. This, the chemistry, is my realm. I am in charge of the cooking. Okay. There on the street, you deal with that. <laughs> That's your job. As our customers go, I don't want to know anything about them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear from them. I want no. Okay. It sounds good, because that looks like hell. Is you and me, and I'm the silent partner. Have you got any issues with that? No matter what happens, no more bloodshed. No nope. Blood nope. Okay, that, that looks like violence to me. <laughs> oh, man, we have fast forward in time. Don't have to. Hang out. She's making sure you get it. Actually, it, it would make me feel a little better knowing that you were there when Walter Jr. gets home from school. All right. Do you call me when you finish? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, in touch with Elliot because uh, I haven't seen a check from him. <laughs> yeah, it, it came last week and I... Put it right into my credit union account. Taken care of. Don't worry. Not deposit this until Monday. Chemical reactions involve change on two levels: matter and energy. It is gradual. A change in energy is slight. Action. Okay happens quickly otherwise harmless substances can interact in a way that enormous bursts of energy uh, uh, like an explosion yes good explosions are the result of chemical reactions happening almost instantaneously and fulminate of mercury is a prime example of that. Explosions. Okay, listen, why don't you He's, uh, start reading on your own from... He's getting nauseous, I think. Yeah. That sounds awful. I got it, Mr. White. Don't worry. You got kids to teach. And that's awful. Thanks, Hugo. You don't let me in when you don't tell me what's going on. And you want me around sometimes. No. And and and, and afternoons when when you're coming home so late and and we're just left wondering. What's up with that? What's up with that, man? Walt. Yeah. Holding back from your family? Oh, big time. I can't tell you. I, I like to be alone. I mean, at times. And it, it's not about you. Good answer. Not to talk at all. I, I like to go on walks. Or walks. A couple of times a week. <laughs> I thought he wasn't supposed to wear his clothes. 
Because they'll get stuff all over his clothes. Oh, he is wearing a thing. Okay, never mind. I thought he was wearing like a business shirt. Okay. Who are you going to tell me? Tell you what? Cancer. How did you know? My aunt had one of those dots on her to target the radiation. What age are you? 3A. I get it now. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. You gonna be able to finish the batch? Yes. No. Go on, here. You do it. If you have any questions, I'll be right out here. He's like doubting himself, like, I don't know if I can do a great job like Walter does. Or he just feels really bad because he's got cancer. Is that when we find way out in the boonies? That cook site? Oh yeah. What what does the report say? Holy shit. What? It says holy shit. Web says they pulled up an imprint of some old writing used to be on the inside. The property of JP Wynn Chemistry Lab. That's Walt School. Oh. Okay, he's dealing with his people now. Um. What song is this? Scooby Dooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Dooby Doo Love. Is that the name of the song? I'll have to look it up. Scooby Dooby Doo of Love. Hey, I'm out there making fat stacks, man. Chill. Hey, He's got connections. Dang. Can I borrow some money? Dang. 26 big ones. Is that all? $26,000? 2600 And your share is 13 Minus 25 bucks for that phone. You sell. Nearly an ounce? time I checked, there were 16 ounces to a pound. What'd you do with the rest? Smoke it? Yo, I've been out there all night slinging crystal. So why don't you just sell the whole pound at once? They can't afford that. What do I look like, Scarface? This is unacceptable. People can't afford that. This return is too little for the risk. I thought you'd be ready for another pound today. We have to move our product in bulk, wholesale. Now, how do we do that? What do you mean, to like a distributor? Move yes. it in bulk. Yes, that's what we need. We need a distributor now. Do you know anyone like that? Used to, until you killed him. Crazy Eight. I never did find out what he did with the body. So, who took Crazy Eight's place? Some guy named Tuco. Tuco. Guy's OG. What, what, what does that mean? Ah, Jesus, look, he's upper level, man. He's not gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. Bum rush some high level ice man and start cutting deals. I have a feeling that Walter's gonna be like, I'll go talk to him. Who introduced you to Crazy Eight? Emilio, and that's only because I knew him from like third grade, and we can't talk to Emilio either. All right, all right, all right. Mr. White, it's too risky. Okay? Which means they're going to go and do it, right? Jesus! Just draw some fucking balls! Wait till Monday again. Yes, please. Mm. As long as I don't see the throw up, I think I'm okay with these scenes. 
Oh, God. Is he going to give him a joint or something? Oh, gum. <laughs> Mr. White. Here's some gum. Hank. Hank. How's it going, man? You need anything, huh? I will. Thank you, Carl. Oh, man. This is going to be crazy. Do you recognize that? No. Huh? Hmm. Well, that was used to cook meth. The label on the inside used to say J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. Well, I was hoping you could help me with that. Uh, we found it near an abandoned car. It belonged to one of our snitches. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'll need to take a look at that inventory. Sure. Sure. I got a list hanging on the wall. <laughs> Hank, Hank is just sniffing around, isn't he? He's just trying to get to the bottom of it. Are there any other respirators? Um, no. Because I'm counting six. Uh, inventory says eight. Hmm. It's weird. Well, uh, Erwin Meyer flask at least. Uh, 5,000 milliliter round. All right, oh, Hank. Slow your roll. So you are just, he's busting this thing wide open. Hello. Yo, what's up, Mr. W? Uh, speaking. Hey, so you know that guy we were talking about, Tuco? Boy, Skinny Pete was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got her in. Okay, then. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for calling. <clears throat> But some meth monkey had a feeding frenzy in there. Okay? You gotta keep better watch over your turf. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what's happened. I'm a little nervous for Jesse here. This kind of looks it's a little bit sketchy. Yo, Tuco's expecting us. I mean, this guy Tuco's got to be just rolling in the money. No need, man. Me and Tuco go back. And this, I mean, this dude's got guards and everything. Jeez. Oh my God. What if Tuco just like beats him up and just takes the drugs and doesn't pay him any money? Tuco. What's happening, my brother? Okay, he looks badass. Break out the ice. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> He's just using this huge knife. Oh my god. Is he okay? Booyah! Wow! Looks like a mule with his balls wrapped in duct tape. Wow! Would you get it? I cooked it. Who are you working for? <laughs> no one, man. I mean, I have a partner that I cook with, but that's it. I haven't said how much. All right. How much? Thirty-five large for the pound. That's a lot of money. It's all right. Don't sweat. It's all good. It's good. Go on. Get out of here. What about the money? It's a consignment operation. Mm. You want me to float 35 G's? I don't. I don't do business that way. The shit. The deal is done. Yeah, he needs the money before he leaves. This is ridiculous. All right, Jesse. Just go. Okay, he's taking it. Walter's gonna be so pissed. Do you really want your money up front? <sighs> I don't like where this is going. I don't know. I don't I don't feel good about it. Up front. Okay, all right. 
Okay. No, okay. I figured that was gonna happen. Dude, chill. Here's Hank again. Morning, Hugo. He's got his partner. Oh, he's got a lot of cops with him. Oh, they think it's him. Where the hell are you? Turn brings us. Mm. You're looking good, Walt. You, your color's better. Yeah. Talked to Carmen this morning, and they're getting a substitute for a few weeks. Oh, yeah. I, I just didn't have a chance to tell you. Um, why were you arresting Mr. Archuleta the other day? Um, uh, turns out he has a record. Yeah, a couple of possession beefs. Guy that was stealing your uh, your school's chemistry gear. I mean, you know, you had a key. It's his truck. We found a big old fat blunt, which goes to prove old huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. Yeah, well, <laughs> not the personal Walt, but uh, you wouldn't know a criminal if he was close enough to check you for a hernia. <laughs> Poor old Hugo's house apart. Turns out he's a major league pothead. Oh. You hiding something? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I got nothing. I'm out. I'm out. What's gonna happen to him, Hugo? Hmm? Oh, he's uh, well. I mean, he's gonna lose his job like he should. A couple months in counting. Is it's not his first rap? Smoking there, huh? Huh? You got a heart? You got the flush, don't you? A handful of nothing. <laughs> it's like... Oh, no. It's starting. Is this the episode where he just shaves it all off? <clears throat> yeah, Jesse is still M.I.A. Who is this? I was dialing Jesse Pinkman. <sighs> Dang, he got beat up pretty bad. Who is he? Got some busted ribs and like that. So you're the cook, huh? Yo, I didn't catch your name. Tell me about this Tuco. Oh, Tell yeah. Me everything about him. He's going to go and confront him. Okay. Felt like that was going on for a long time. Okay, he's bald now, right? Yep. <clears throat> Badass dad. You Tuco? He's like, do I look like Tuco? Hmm? Hmm? And I'm not leaving until I do. That's right. Open the damn door.
This is gonna end badly. What's your name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg. It's your meeting. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? Money. Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Oh, fifty G's. Thirty-five for the pound of meth you stole, and another fifteen for my partner's pain and suffering. Uh, I remember that little bitch. So you must be daddy. He's taking off his jacket. Oh shit! Let me get this straight. I steal your dope. Hmm? I beat the piss out of your mule boy. Walk in here and you bring me more men? <laughs> you got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Bravo. Bravo, Walt. Are you fucking nuts? You want to find out? No, no, it's Gonzo. Calma. I'll give you your money. That was epic. It sold faster than $10 ass in TJ. Let's say you bring me another pound next week. Money up front. Money up front. <laughs> I'm so shocked that he... <sighs> One pound is not going to cut it. You have to take two. What is that shit? It's chemistry. Eliminated mercury. Oh. A little tweak of chemistry. Man, you do not mess with Walter. Wow. I'm impressed. I mean, the cops are probably on their way, right? Because of that big explosion. Did he not give him enough money? Here comes the cops. Go, Walter. Get the hell out of there. Man, that was a really great episode. Um, Walter stepped up and things are starting to heat up in his life in the kitchen. With his, with his partner, Jesse, um, things are just starting to get really crazy. And I just I'm total like I'm totally in shock of, you know, the um, chemistry stuff that he used to get back at this guy. And I did not expect that at all when he picked it up and he threw it on the floor and it just exploded. That was so cool. That was genius on his part. I loved it. Um, and obviously he's going through all the chemo and radiation and stuff. He's got to take medication and his hair was falling out. <sighs> I just hope that he beats it and he gets better. But I know that, you know, this show's probably going to take a crazy turn. And I think it's just getting started with this episode. I really feel like we're starting to get into it. And Hank is like also just right on his tail. So... This is going to be interesting <laughs> moving forward. Um, if you guys want, want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I would appreciate it a lot. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this reaction. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.